Welcome to telecommunicationresellers.com. In this short video tip here, this is where we're going to go about adding the port forwarding in your Netgear router. Let's get started. So we are over here at our login page. We know how to log in. That IP address is 192.168.1.1. We hit the login. And now we want to go down here to our attached devices. Now, in our particular case, we're going to we're going to uh, open up a port for my printer, my wireless printer I have. So the IP address there is that 192.168.1.7. So that's what we're going to add in for our port forward. So we're going to go down here to our port forward, and we got port forward and check. So we're going to add a custom service. Up here in the top, we're just going to give it a name. We'll call it IP printer. I've already done this. And we'll give it a port. Now, in your particular case, if you have some type of Landcraft or some type of game, just go to the website that you're. Uh, just go to the website, and they'll give you what port you're supposed to use. So, my for my printer in this particular case, we're going to use port 9100, and that IP address for that printer was port uh, number seven. So, 192.168.1.7 was the IP address of our printer. We're going to hit apply. Now you see our printers in the list right here. I I have a security camera there on port 80, and I have some other stuff here from uh, Xbox that my son plays. So I have some ports for that that IP. And it after we put those in there, it worked up. Uh, it worked with no problem. Now let's check that thing to make sure that it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to go out to this website called can you see me dot org. Can you see me? And it's going to be this site right here. Now, if you notice this IP address is going to be the same IP address that's inside your router. Let's just take a look at that so I can show you. So we'll look under our router status and that'll be the same IP address 2419.124.198. That's the same IP as right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our port number that our printer's on, 9100. We're going to say check. And in your case, if it's your game, your PS3 or whatever, you'll put in that particular port number. And as you can see, success on there. It sees my port. That tells me that port is open now. And now I can send traffic over to my, my printer over here to print documents remotely or whatever might be the case. So there we go. That's how you add a port forward in the Netgear, Netgear Smart Wizard. Thanks for watching. I'm going to delete mine. And that's how you delete it out. Thanks for watching. My name's Greg from telecommunicationresellers.com. If you have any telecom questions, come out to the telecom forums or if you're looking for any telecom products you can contact me there in the contact page thanks for watching my name is greg from telecommunication resellers.com